My name is Don Berger, and I'm the founder and CEO of a, the DC-based hospitality technology company, Social Tables. We've called this press conference today to announce that Social Tables has secured $8 million in new funding. But before I discuss the significance of this raise, I want to discuss the importance of this venue. And this venue is important for three reasons. The first, it's because two years ago, I stood in that auditorium over there and announced that we closed our angel round. We had three employees, zero customers, and Jonathan Pirelli was running Fortify's Investor Day, and we brought in, I think, $250,000 that day. And that was two years ago in this very venue. So that's pretty special. <laughs> Secondly, leading this round will be Bessemer Venture Partners. And for those who don't know the history about Bessemer, Bessemer was actually started with, um, this, through the sale of Carnegie Steel. And Carnegie Steel was co-founded by Andrew Carnegie, and this venue carries his namesake, the Carnegie Library. So I think that's really amazing that 100 years ago, this venue was, Bessemer was started, and now this venue carries uh, that Carnegie name. And third, and probably most important and most dear to my heart, is the very fact that the Carnegie Library is a Social Tables customer. In fact, Windows Catering, who catered today, is a Social Tables customer. And Greg Hodell, who oversees Events DC, is on our board of advisors. So for those three reasons, it's very special for me to be here today. And speaking of our customers, we wouldn't be where we are today without them. So let me share with you what this funding means to our customers, because that's where I believe we should start as a great company. We're a customer-centric company, and Bob Thomas, our advisor, has helped us think that way. And the first thing we're going to do with this capital is more support, more education for our customers. The second thing we're going to do with this capital is more products for our customers. And the third thing we're going to do is bring collaboration and automation to an industry that desperately needs it. Now, collaboration and, and automation is something that, that we feel obligated to fulfill at social tables. And our customers support us. You know, let me tell you a quick story. Last week, I received an email from one of our customers, a VIP customer. He said to me, hey, Don, could you add our logo to your homepage? Because we believe in your mission so much, and we value our partnership so much. And that's what hospitality is all about. Being a hospitality technology company, we couldn't pick a better place than DC. And let me tell you why DC is perfect for both hospitality and technology. From the hospitality perspective, the district is the heart of our industry. It is a city where associations organize, nonprofits raise money, and business gets done. Greg O'Dell and Karen Katowski have done so much in that area, and they'll talk about what their achievements have been a little later on. From a technology perspective, Mayor Gray and his administration have made DC the Mid-Atlantic startup hub. And that deserves a round of applause right there. Now, among, among, among those things that have made DC a startup hub are two very special things. First, the fort, which Jonathan Pirelli started a few years ago, which we were a part of. That's, a, that's an accelerator that we were a part of. And second is 1776. Social Tables has been a part of both of those public-private partnerships, and we're so proud to be part of that. And we wouldn't be here today without those initiatives that were supported by the mayor and his administration. Now, you know, when destinations market themselves, and Greg, you probably know this better than everybody, they always talk about the number of attractions they have or the number of sleeping rooms they have. They don't talk about the values and the, and the, and the stories of a city. So to DC, it's all about community and all about people. And to me, you know, having 45 colleagues at social tables, it's all about those people. You know, two thirds of those 45 people live in DC proper. Two thirds of 45 people live in DC proper. So, and a few actually even moved to D.C. to work here. And people move here to change the world. And, and, and when I talk about people, I also talk about investors. And for a second, I just want to take, take and acknowledge Paul and Cal and the other early investors that we had. You know, tw 19 out of the 21 investors we had are from the D.C. area. So there's capital here that's going back to D.C. companies. Now, I just said people move here to change the world, and that's also because they believe in our mission. The Social Table's mission is to inspire face-to-face -face experiences. So this new capital will be used to recruit people who believe the same way and the same thinking that we have and to continue inspiring face-to-face -face experiences. At Social Tables, we believe in, transformational, in the transformational power and economic impact of meetings and events, just like this one. And this idea was summarized so well in a conference I recently attended with Ram, where they said, when we meet, we change the world. When we meet, 
we change the world. And we strongly believe in that on social tables. So today, we're more excited than ever about the future of the hospitality industry, of the technology sector in DC, and of our, and of our company. My team is invigorated to bring powerful yet intuitive software to the hands of 30,000 hospitality professionals that we currently serve and to thousands more around the world. Again, thank you for coming out today to celebrate with us and to support our company. We wouldn't be here without you. It is now, I've never said this before, my great pleasure to introduce the mayor of DC, Vince Gray. Well, thank you very much and good morning, everybody. Isn't it great to be here in the Carnegie uh, uh, Library? Um, it uh, used to be, it used to be the Carnegie Library. It was the central library. And uh, I'd like to think it wasn't that long ago, but it was a long time ago. When I was a kid, I came here as a central library before the, the King Library uh, uh, was actually uh, built and finished. So it's wonderful to see it being put to the use uh, that it's being put now, uh, yet another uh, meeting place uh, for people uh, here in the District of Columbia and across the region. I want to first of all congratulate Don, uh, Don Berger, um, and his team for creating a phenomenal uh, product, uh, and that is bringing two hugely important sectors, uh, probably two-thirds of the central part of what we see the future of our economy being uh, here in the District of Columbia, uh, of course, hospitality uh, and uh, technology. Uh, I guess it's been about three years uh, since Social Tables uh, began. I remember being uh, in this uh, building uh, when there was an event <clears throat> that was held here that had never been held in the district before, and that was uh, in order to be able to generate more interest uh, in technology. And uh, our dear friend, one of our pioneers, Jonathan Pirelli, uh, was so much a part uh, of that. Uh, there was a day when we didn't know whether we were going to be able to make this happen uh, or not. And uh, Jonathan was one of those people who stepped up uh, to the plate. Uh, he was at his, uh, at his firm out in Virginia. They were going to move closer in, but still in Virginia. And uh, we prevailed upon them. We begged. Uh, we said, why don't you start to think about uh, the District of Columbia as a, uh, as a core uh, of the continuing growth of this economy um, and the continuing development of a technology concentration here. And uh, Jonathan stepped up and helped us. And John, I want, Jonathan, I want to publicly thank you for helping us catalyze the direction that we're going. Uh, please give Jonathan Pirelli a big hand. <laughs> the fort. And then along came 1776, and, and Don has already referenced both of them. Uh, 1776, uh, oh, a year and a half ago, didn't even exist. And uh, we were one of the investors uh, there as well um, and uh, invested $200,000 in helping them to uh, create their space. Um, and now, from going from zero startups, they now have 220 startup technology firms uh, at 1776. And uh, it's amazing to see the people that come through there. I was there last week, and uh, Governor uh, Martin O'Malley uh, was there uh, talking to some of the uh, entrepreneurs. So. Uh, again, I'm pleased to congratulate uh, Don on $8 million of investment. It's amazing where they've come. And uh, I want to thank members of our team uh, also. I want to thank our deputy mayor, uh, Jeff Miller, who has been with us since the beginning uh, of this journey and has done a phenomenal job. Jeff, thank you so much for being such a great leader here in the District of Columbia. And, of course, our uh, tech sector manager, Aaron McKinney, uh, who has done a fantastic job uh, also of helping us create something that didn't exist uh, before. Um, Jennifer Boss, who was our first person, has now moved on because she was phenomenally successful and is continuing to... I guess I just dropped the ball, huh? <laughs> uh, in any event, uh, also our hospitality manager, uh, Pia Brown. As I indicated that there are three sectors that we are focusing intensively on. Uh, technology and hospitality are two of them, and construction, engineering uh, is another as a way of continuing to grow and stimulate uh, the economy uh, here in the city. I hope some of you have seen our uh, five-year economic development plan. 
Uh, if not, we're down to our last 10,000 copies. Uh, so, but I think it does. <laughs> I think it does point the way to the future for this city, and we're already seeing uh, the tremendous return. And this is a, a great example uh, of that. The six visions that are included in that plan um, to become the most business-friendly economy uh, in the nation, to become the largest tech hub uh, on the East Coast, and uh, to become the uh, nation's destination of choice, uh, all of which are embraced, uh, frankly, by the announcement uh, that is being made uh, today. For those who don't know, um, the uh, we, have, we have launched Digital DC. Uh, it's creating a tech uh, corridor uh, here in the city. And actually, we are right at the beginning of it. It starts here at the convention center and goes north for about five miles, all the way up to uh, Petworth. And the idea is to begin to create a concentration of uh, tech firms, uh, like social tables, that will be able to get their sea legs under them to go from as uh, no employees, I guess, just a few years ago to what, 45 uh, employees now, uh, Don, and having generated this kind of uh, investment. Um, we also, as a part of that, are, um, we've created a pilot tech fund that will put a million dollars uh, for openers uh, into grants. Uh, we've got, I don't know how many grant applications we've gotten, but we've gotten a number. Uh, already, and those grants will be awarded somewhere between 25000 and 250000 and the first awards will be made uh, next month uh, in uh, September. So uh, this, is a, this is a day of celebration, and you can't imagine how wonderful it is to see how many people uh, are here uh, to be able to celebrate uh, the success of Social Tables, which I think is, is just the beginning uh, for uh, this kind of uh, launch, if you will, of technology success uh, here in the District of Columbia. So, Don, I want to congratulate you again, especially on generating $8 million. That must have been an exciting moment when you found out how much you had generated for continuing to take a great idea uh, and grow it. I think uh, 10 years from now, people are going to look at the District of Columbia as one of the key uh, locations, the key sectors, if you will, of the nation for technology. You know, it's been Northern Virginia, and it's been uh, the Silicon Valley and a couple of other places, but we are on our way, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a great example of it and one of the reasons why I wanted to be here to be a part of this. It's my pleasure now to introduce a man who I have such enormous respect for. I think he has done such a great job uh, helping to um, lead our hospitality uh, industry uh, in the District of Columbia. Um, one need only go across uh, the street on the other side here and see what goes on there virtually uh, every uh, day. We now have a new convention uh, uh, headquarters hotel, the uh, Marriott Marquis, and uh, the justification of that was uh, underscored, frankly, by the level of business coming to uh, the District of Columbia. What's interesting is what a great nexus. We just had, I think a week or two ago, we had a convention um, that was uh, convened by Microsoft uh, here in the District of Columbia, and there were some 10,000 people who came to be a part of that, and they will be coming back again uh, in a couple of three years. And it's great to see that kind of tech sector concentration coming to the District of Columbia, and frankly, not to be mercenary, but it's great to see that kind of money coming to the District of Columbia uh, as well, because we encourage uh, people to spend every nickel in their pocket uh, when they are here in the District of Columbia. And the person who makes that easy uh, is the person who has led uh, Events DC. Please welcome Greg O'Dell. Well, first, let me, let me start by saying I'm humbled always uh, to hear such uh, wonderful comments by the mayor. Um, and this is, we will honor social tables, but I think I want to take the time to, to tell you all, this is also a celebration for the mayor's vision. Uh, you know, it's very exciting uh, to see the merging, really, of, of technology in the hospitality space. Uh, and he really, you know, so often when mayors come, uh, come and go, unfortunately, um, they speak of vision. But the fact that he implemented his vision, and we see it come to fruition through wonderful examples today, as a testament to what he's done for the city. So if you would, please honor him with another round of applause for what he's done. Thank you, Mayor. So 
to the business at hand, my good friend, Don Berger. So I, we are very excited. Let me say on behalf of the board of directors uh, and our staff at Events DC, we're honored to host this wonderful celebration today. Uh, and again, as I've said, the mayor must be excited. It's a home run because it is this marriage uh, of this amazing technology to our hospitality industry. And for those who, unless you've had your head under a rock, the hospitality industry has been absolutely amazing in our city. Uh, you only look to, to see the Marriott Marquis that opened in May. Look at our amazing uh, restaurant scene. We had over 100 restaurants open uh, this year alone, which is simply amazing uh, for what this great city has done. Um, but back to, to social tables, you know, I will say for our customers and for us, I mean, this is the new way. This is the creative, innovative way to create amazing experiences, not only in our venues, selfishly, but across the city and across this nation. Um, I want to sum it up really by a story uh, that hit home with me, and this is great timing. So yesterday we had uh, our interns actually did a presentation to our senior team, and I use the words intern very loosely because they are team players and they were, they were amazing, and I could go on and on about their performance. Uh, but one of them in particular, her name was uh, Carrie Hartsfield. I know she's not here, but some of her teammates are here. Um, she went to speak about her experiences, and as uh, a team member, uh, she got to uh, specifically work on Carnegie Library. Uh, what she did was learn how to do a sales pitch, learn how to do event management. But what was most telling and what she seemed to be most excited about, and I, I'm not making this up, is that she learned social tables. She actually learned how to use social tables. So to me, that is what our next generation, what the future looks like. We have technology and it's the cutting edge. So I will say, Don, thank you for, for training our great team but also I think it is what we will see in this industry for years to come. So congratulations, as I said to you jokingly, but I mean it, don't forget the little people when you blow up. But uh, I am honored and excited, and personally for me, it's been wonderful to have a firsthand seat. I appreciate it and honored to be an advisor to you, but I will tell you I'm learning more from you than, than, than I could ever impart to you. So congratulations again, and for all your success. So please give Don another round of applause as well. So it's now my duty and honor to, to introduce a great friend. Uh, David Adler, as you all know, is the uh, CEO, but founder also of BizBash, which really does have the pulse on what's new and innovative in many, many industries. So without further ado, please welcome David to the stage. Greg, Don, or Dan? <laughs> I still don't know what to call them. I don't know if you do. <laughs> right? Um, Karen, who's going to speak after me. Um, as CEO of uh, BizBash, it's been, first of all, I did a startup here when I graduated college, and there was no such thing as startup community. You were like totally alone in the woods, and the fact that you've done this is amazing because this is one of the most creative places in the country. And um, to have, to, um, my heart is filled when I hear the startup world is so much easier now than it was back a few years ago when I graduated college many years ago. But as BizBash, we have like a million people coming into our store every year looking about, about how to do events. And so I've been really found that I consider what I do the mayor of my niche. So basically what I am is the mayor of, the ni of my niche and that every event organizer is really a mayor of their own niche, their own ecosystem. They're running a whole little world and they get the glory and they get the crap when they, get, when they didn't pick up the trash right, right? <laughs> so every person who is an event organizer knows the good and the bad. And so I use that model because I grew up in Washington. That model works, that we are mayors of our niches. And it's exciting that you know, we're here with social tables. This is a platform that is about collaboration based here in a city where we can use a little more collaboration. And, and we should be able to facilitate it more. And so I'm also obsessed with this new book. This new book out called, um, it's called Social Physics, How Ideas um, actually um, move from place to place by the guy Alex Pentland, who's the head of the MIT lab. And he talks about how ideas are not us sitting here, it's us in the back room coming up with ideas and creating events that facilitate this. And so I judge my events now, but not by not how many people attend, but how many conversations I'm having. So at a conference we did last week, we had 7,000 conversations. And that, if one or two of those become very valuable, it changes the world. And so that's kind of the way I see human gatherings going. I also call event organizers programmers of human interaction. They curate content, 
community and collaboration. And they want to activate these networks. That's what Washington is all about. But now businesses are doing that. And they take movements to the next level. So with the investment of social tables, we're really not investing in social tables. We're investing in the success of the new tools and best practices to create, as my friend Mary Boone says, collaboration athletes to make them do this better. Because the better we do this, the better the world is, and we actually can solve some problems. So I'm really here, and I'm proud to be a supporter on the advisory board of social tables and helping them through the journey. And mentoring these companies is something we all should all do, no matter what part of life we're in. Because it really, we learn more from them, as you said earlier, than we learn from ourselves. So it's great. Thank you so much. Oh, and I want to introduce. Okay. So Karen, Karen says, oh my god, they're going to screw up my last name. And then I found out I have to introduce her. So Karen Katowski from the CIC, come, to, come on up and talk about this amazing organization that you have and how it relates to social tables. Thanks. Thank you so much. Um, it's really an honor for me to be here today um, uh, as a, a new partner with Social Tables um, and having worked with them on the app, the underpinnings of which are some of the best practices that CIC tries to teach planners on a daily basis. So I'm really happy and honored that Don asked me to be here representing all 33 organizations, membership organizations that collectively make up the Convention Industry Council. What are members and their constituents? constituencies have always known is the value of meetings. It's not always been recognized by the general public or some public officials, not the one that's sitting here on the stage. Um, so the Convention Industry Council responded in the only way that we knew how, which was through re research, um, to try to bring about an understanding that the value of meetings and what we contribute to business, to governments and communities. Um, according to research that we released earlier this year, the meetings industry employs directly 1.8 million Americans. And many other industries that service the meetings industry multiply that effect as we've been, so has been demonstrated so vividly today with social tables going from three employees a few years ago to 45 and now growing. Um, so there's no doubt that meetings uh, drive jobs, they drive tax revenues, which I'm sure is important to the mayor. Direct spending, not only here in D.C., but uh, according to our study, all over communities in the, in the United States. But not only are meetings fueling U.S. commerce, they're also a key driver of business growth and business success. And our goal is to build more consumer awareness and awareness by other government officials, both with numbers and real stories about why business, businesses succeed when we meet face to face. So where does social tables fit into this? Well, technology and technology platforms like social tables and the pocket planner that we were so happy to partner with create efficiencies in the marketplace. And that allows meeting professionals to do their jobs faster and better. And that's only good news as we seek to tell the good story about the meetings industry and the professionals who work in it. So I applaud the work of companies like social tables here in DC's tech corridor as well as the leadership of Mayor Gray and those who recognize that um, private investment as well as public investment in companies, convention centers, and other businesses that bring meetings and events to a city generate returns that are far greater than the initial investment. And at CIC, we're, we'll continue to tell that story. So I thank you, and I think Don wanted to have a few closing words. Thank you so much. I think for those who don't know, by the way, Karen runs an organization, it's like pretty meta, but Karen runs an organization that oversees 33 organizations that are, represent the entire industry globally. So meeting planners, convention centers, associations. So this woman literally runs an association of associations, which is pretty, you know, we're all millennials, epic, right? I mean, so I, I, I'm gonna, I have a long thank you list I want to run through. And I'm sorry for doing this, but I, it's really important. Greg was standing here, so I have to lower this mic slightly. <laughs> um, my forehead. Um, okay, so I want to just start, but you know, it's crazy. It's social tables, do it. We blow up everything, right? So we we take we Tatiana. Hi. Um, we we blow up everything. So we say when we, we when this when this funding was about to happen, we said, well, we should do a press conference. And then Claire and Trevor from my team were like, oh yeah, let's do a press conference. 
and I don't think they thought I was serious. And then a few weeks later, we're standing and doing a press conference. So I want to thank my, the entire Social Tables team. I would be, I am nothing without you, uh, but I want to specifically call out Claire Harrington, who works in Colorado. So we have two employees in Colorado and help the Denver economy. Um, and I want to thank Claire for all of your hard work. So this is the only round of applause we'll do. So please, for the Social Tables team, and to Claire. Thank you. I want to thank um, uh, Andrew Gerstel from uh, the CEO of Windows Catering, who's mentored uh, my, my team, who's a customer of ours, who's catered us with, with what looks like amazing food. So thank you for your business and thank you for your hospitality. Um, I want to thank uh, Greg O'Dell, um, uh, Karen and David for coming here. Um, Greg, and, Greg and David both sit on our, on our, our board and that's, uh, that's very humbling to have them on our board of advisors. In fact, I remember David when we first met three years ago at a BizBash and I think you called me crazy. Which is still true, by the way. Um, I also, um, and you know, obviously I would be remiss to not thank Mayor Gray for taking the time. It's a very busy week here in D.C. Thank you, and thank you to Deputy Mayor uh, Miller for being here as well. Um, it's very much appreciated. Pia and Aaron have been outstanding on your team, and we thank, we thank them for their support as well. Um, I want to thank our early investors. Um, uh, Cal, who's here, Paul, uh, Jonathan, Alex from Midland, Matt from Militello um, for, for being here, and, and, and that's very humbling for us to that you continue to support us. Um, and I want to thank Julia Rapley from the Reagan Building. Um, one, of the, one of the first uh, major customers we had, um, I can tell you this now, you didn't know this in the, t the time we brought you on board. <laughs> um, but your, your partnership means so much to us, and thank you so much for your business. Um, and and, and Bob Thomas, the guy who listened to me when no one else would at Georgetown University, thank you. And I believe Grace Sheely is here from Georgetown's Hospitality Management. Um, excellent. Uh, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Gray runs the Hospitality Management um, Department at, at Georgetown's uh, Continuing Education uh, Program, so thank you for being here. And finally, happy birthday to Brittany Bernstein from my team. Um, and with that, I hope I didn't forget anybody. I, I, would, I would point out our attorneys, just because they're here to support us, but I'm not going to do that, because then I shouldn't do that. But I thank our attorneys, wherever you are. I know you're here. <laughs> um, I thank you for being here. Um, you've been awesome. So thank you so much. Please join us in the reception. Again, thank you deeply for being here. I really appreciate it.